We've got this little broody hen down here. Good morning, by the way. I'll show her to you, she's pretty feisty. What are you making us think about? Did you just lay an egg? You trying to lay an egg? I bet you just laid an egg. When a hen goes broody, it means that she has this strong internal desire and instinct to sit on eggs. And they can get a little mean and feisty when they're sitting on the eggs. They have this protective instinct, so I'll, I'm not going to disturb her too much, but I'll show you what I mean. Oh! Such a sweet fluffy chicken turned into a monster. Oh. <laughs> Today we're doing some garden prep and planting. We're, we're getting ready to butcher our cow, which will be later this week or next week, I think. But first, it's time to do the chores. good these have been in there for five months six almost six months and they're solid what we're gonna do is actually cut these potatoes for seed potatoes so we're, we're gonna use this crop from last year's the leftovers that we haven't eaten and plant them in the garden this week for early potatoes first I'm gonna put the nice big ones over here that are easy to peel and cook with and just keep the small ones for seed potato. Here's the small ones we'll keep and here's the ones that we'll make a few meals out of over the next month or so. The reason we cut potatoes is there's no reason to take a potato like this and plant it in the ground whole when you can cut it in half and make two potato plants just as well. What we're looking for is to leave two eyes. Here's an eye, there are these little spots. We'll leave two eyes on each one there's an eye that's starting to grow a plant. They're easier to see like that, but these potatoes are covered with eyes. Most of these I'm going to end up making into two pieces. You could probably do three or more. Beautiful potatoes. There's no point in cutting these little ones. We'll plant these whole. You could probably cut them. Now these will go into the house for easy eating access. Those will go in the pantry here, right next to a bunch of winter squash. And then our seed potato will go inside to heal over into the back room on a cotton utility cloth here. And we'll just spread those out to let them dry out and warm up in here. We're doing two things in here. We're letting the potatoes heal. These cut sides are more vulnerable to rotting when they're wet like this. If you let them form a little skin, they're less likely to rot. You can do that in any non-freezing environment, but I like to bring them inside because um, warming them up for a couple days can start encouraging them to sprout and you can get faster growing plants and a little earlier crop. Now we're gonna go get some onions. I get to go. I thought I was about to do school, but Arthur's gonna do school. And I am going to get onions 
and some soap peas and maybe some broccoli and cabbage. We'll see. greenhouse and it's just an old family been around forever and so that's where we get a lot of our starts there wasn't really much to film he actually didn't have sugar snap pea seeds and he didn't have his cabbage and broccoli and stuff ready so I only got onions but he surprised me because he had elderberry cuttings. So I got six of those and pro I probably should have gotten 12. I just got these little guys and I'll go home and I stick them back. It. Look, oh I'll stick God. them back in the water and we'll get them going here in a couple weeks. Look, he's so happy. Did y'all have fun? <laughs> that was fun to come home to right there, even though the greenhouse didn't really have much today. We can still plant some onions, and you know, honestly, that's probably all we have time to do anyway. Did you see Donald and the ducks playing down in the creek? Yeah. Was he having fun? Yeah. Did daddy school with you? Uh-huh. Are you done? Uh-huh. You're free to go. Are you gonna play onions with us? Uh, I guess so. Okay. And I'm also gonna play the creek. So you're gonna stick it in the mm. ground like this and leave the top up. I don't wanna do that. Just like that. Stick it down in there. Don't want to be in there anymore, huh? Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right, you ready? <laughs> Can I show you? difference is that you just plant them much closer together. <laughs> Wilder, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you headed? He's going up to hang out with them, I think. Yeah, he is. Well, that's it for us today. If we had uh, sugar snap peas or snow peas we'd plant them right now but the farm store didn't have them in yet but it's about time to plant them it is it's time now but if he doesn't get them soon then we can go to another store well this has been a good kickoff to another season in the garden and it's just so heartwarming to have the kids out here running around playing helping some and i think it's the first time in a few years that we've actually gotten out here on time on time you mean planting Planting a spring. Things at appropriate times. Yeah, planting a spring garden in the spring. So if you want to join us, jump in and plant your garden. Unless the ground is frozen, of course, where you're at. Or you're under a foot or two of snow. <laughs> well, folks, it's been another great day in the homestead. See you soon. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.